Our teacher Todd Stahl believes in the power of art, and every day he works to further art education in the Webster School District. By treating his students as equals, he empowers them to believe in their work and have high expectations. Let's take a look into his classroom to see how. All right, who wants to be next? I love my job. I love that I get to come to a place that is full of creative teenagers. The really special thing about teaching art is that I get to be a part of their lives in a different way than a different sort of classroom teacher can because so much of what they do here for me is about expressing their own life. I get to know them in a, in a you know, more personal way. It really is like a family environment and uh, it's, it's really special. Oh, cool. Hair looks really nice. I think the one thing I would say in general is that you just want to start working a little bit more contrast. In. Okay. That would be great, yeah. I've been in Mr. Stahl's class since freshman year, so I've had the privilege of having all four years with him, which is pretty great since uh, we haven't gotten sick of each other yet. We've built a sort of community here, and we've given it the name Art Fam. Knowing that you matter in a classroom and that you're an equal, it's very empowering. Because I'm constantly doing artwork alongside my students, and they have all these different creative ideas about using materials, how to use materials, how to combine oil paint and then use colored pencil, or how to, you know, they are painting, the brush strokes they make are different than mine. Because I get to see that, uh, because they get to see how I apply paint, we rub off on each other. One of the best parts about being able to work in my classroom alongside my students is that I always have artists, working artists, to give me feedback. We learn from each other's process, because so much of making art is not just like, here's the finished product, but it's how do I get there? My artwork is and has been for a long time uh, trying to express a portraiture, but in a way that expresses some history as well. The specific series that I'm showing is called American Voices. I'm trying to create a portrait that's not just a nice picture of someone. When you look at it, you can feel something about them. You can look deeply into the elements of the portrait and learn something. I try to find elements of the people's lives that are uh, well known, that people can connect to that person right away and also maybe some other things that are more like the more you dig into this person or the more you know about them then that becomes evident. So the text that I used on uh, one portion of the Martin Luther King uh, painting came from a letter that he had written. So I just will go searching through books uh, looking for elements that speak to me aesthetically but also that speak to me by their meaning. I'm just so lucky that I get to, year in and year out, have students who come through here who just want to learn and want to be creative. Uh, and it's this family kind of environment that I think makes them want to be creative and want to take part in what's happening. Art education is so incredibly important because it is, I think, the lifeblood of a lot of schools. For a lot of students, it is the only thing that they have that they feel confident about. Art, it's lent so much to my passion about wanting to explore and to learn and to just dig into things. My creativity and my analytic skills have been heightened so much by art and just it makes me more willing and happy to go explore and learn things that I might not have been that passionate about in the first place, about the passion that art gives me. Everything about me is art. Without art, I wouldn't be.
you can see more of Todd's own work at ToddStallArt.com. And Todd also has an exhibit up at Maker's Gallery and Cafe. You can head there to see his work any Friday, Saturday, or Sunday before January 20th. For more information on Makers, visit MakersGalleryAndStudio.com.